Hi, this is Milo Patozza from Creator. You're watching Loud TV. Just, it's just, uh, age is a state of mind, I would say. Uh, do, it's not about your physical decay. It's about your, like you said, it's, you, you need to focus on what you really believe in. And uh, if you do what you enjoy, you, abs uh, you, you automatically stay young. And uh, I think that that's essential. Um, once you start um, thinking old, you become old, you know, and that's when you when, when you are old, because you're like, ah, oh, you know what, I used to go to co metal concerts, but nowadays I sit on the couch and zap through the, through the, through, um, um, the TV channels. Uh, that is when you are old, but it's, it's up to you, you know, you can do anything up to, uh, um, up until you're 80, 90 even, uh, and become, uh, and, and live a very nice life. Um, Without getting old, I I I, I still I still um, try try to be as much as uh, um, uh, involved in the scene in the metal scene or in music scene in general as possible as uh, when the time allows it I go to a concert of course. De depending on on, on on the on on the extensive touring that you do, you know, since we've toured with with Trent and it was a big success, so we needed um, to play a lot of shows, and uh, people wanted uh, us to to be um, in a lot of uh, at a lot of festivals, a lot of uh, on a lot of tours. So we we um, went around the globe globe I think twice, and um, for that matter. Um, I thought that, yeah, in order to be inspired, you needed some time off, you know? Otherwise, it's not, um, when you're only on the road, there's not much that you experience, you know? Yeah, so in order to be inspired, it was necessary for us to take a break. And um, especially for me, writing the songs, you know, I need to uh, stay, uh, uh, to be rela in a relaxed state of mind and, and, and experience life itself, live my life in order to write songs. If you don't live your life and you're only on the road, I mean, it's not that you're dead when you're on the road, but you're more like a functioning machine and you're reproducing something that you've already written. So it's not a very creative process. And in this state of mind, I cannot be creative in the sense of, in the sense of, writing songs on the road a lot of a lot of bands that I know kind of manage to do this mm -hmm. but I, I I I think to me um, it is essential to take some time off and and, and concentrate on, on on new music uh, that sounds new and fresh you know and um, if that's not given I rather wait until the right moment comes I, I need to, I, I, I'm, I'm a little old school when it comes to that. I book a studio, I have a friend who has a studio, and um, we get together like very, like we go in there and we start writing music. And um, that's, that's how I do it, you know. I, I, um, I go into a studio, book time, and, and I might be, I might have an idea on a beach though, you know, when I have a guitar, but I, uh, I don't go on uh, on the beach with the guitar, so <laughs> I would be more like a, in a room, you know, taking the guitar, trying out new riffs. And I think it's not, it cannot be forced, you know what I mean? Inspiration should never be forced. It should be something that comes natural, like a spark that, 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 that you, that you, or like a thought that comes in a, in a way where it's, where it's like a, a natural song, a spark, you know, not like a, a force spark where it never works. It never works to, to, um, to, um, to force creativity. <laughs> Apocalypticon. Yeah, it sounds like, it sounds like a, it sounds very bombastic, very pompous, um, 
It's the, the, the people from, from a band called um, Flash God Apocalypse that helped us with the orchestral arrangements for this song. Yes. Yeah, it sounds a little bit also like Ennio Morricone. I think these people, they have this Italian style also, a very European, very, um, it, very Italian actually. And um, when, when, I, when, I, when I approached, um, when I asked them to, 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 um, to, to uh, I reached out to the guys and we were like, okay, this is the intro and we only had the guitar melody and the drums. That was the basic demo. And, um, and, I, and I asked the guys, you know, I explained what I wanted. And I wanted, I wanted choirs, I wanted, like you said, like a very, like, I, I, I mentioned this should be a very meaningful intro to start to kick off the album. And they sent up, sent something, some, some, some ideas to me. And the first ideas that they sent were already great. Great, great guys, great, um, great talent, mm -hmm. amazing band. What happens in the videos is um, you um, you uh, you see the birth of the creator demon in the first video, Gods of Violence, for the title track. In the second video, the 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 demon, the creator demon, goes. My original idea was to to um, come up with a concept album where, like the evil as a force of uh, a force of the human mind, uh, the human nature. Uh, a part of human nature, a characteristic um, a part of, of, of the human existence um, lived through, comes to life in, in, in this um, ancient orgy that, we, um, that you see in the first video. In the second video, it goes into the Middle Ages where a lot of like, it, it's inspired by the, the movie The Witch that I, I, I saw. Um, so the second video is more like, uh, um, this witch's Sabbath, and the third one will be in a more modern setting. So you can see the same uh, misery um, moving throughout time, uh, every era of the uh, human history. And that was my idea to to link the um, Greek mythology to modern day uh, misery and terror, you know, and. Um, yeah, we. I think the first video I really like. The second video I haven't seen yet. And the third is in the making. Oh, it's Gruppa 13. Gruppa 13. Um, the the people they work with many many bands, but they're most known for the work with the Polish band Behemoth. Um, um, that's like. To me, I, I write the parts for the solos, and I give Sammy a free uh, hand to to come up with his own ideas for for what. And some solos I wrote. Some solos I have in on on the, on the demo already, and he kind of. And there are some solos where I, I said, okay, Sammy, I played it more basic, and I played this more like an idea. Maybe you can up, come up with something. Um, on the, in the same line, and he most of the times comes up with something spect more spectacular, you know, more musical than I did. Um, but yeah, most uh, there, there's like a let let me put it this way. I think it's seventy percent Sami and thirty percent yeah. um, whatever. What you know, it's like this is like an open space for each. You know, the, like the song itself. When I present present the songs to the band. It should be an open space for their own creativity. So Sami sometimes comes up with stuff. Um, of course, the other two uh, members, Ventor and Spezi, they come up with their own stuff as well. No, uh, in the past we were all in the state of learning still, and learning not only uh, play, to play our instrument, but also learning about uh, about arrangement learning about songwriting. Nowadays we're in a state where, yeah, we've done many albums and we can um, take the experience and put it in a new, in a new art, uh, new work. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> it's a nightmare for you? Seven in the morning, man. Seven. Seven. Wow. It's not a nightmare, it's just a matter of uh, 
of uh, organizing your time you know it's not, it's not a nightmare it's uh, it, it it became natural to me I just went to sleep earlier you know it's 12 o'clock so but it worked it worked fine um, and uh, it made sense also it was long we um, we almost worked six weeks on the recordings and Jens took another three weeks for mixing so it was more over the two, way over two months this time for the whole production <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, it was more like being on hold. You know what I mean? Because there was also a lot of waiting around. Because sometimes Jens was looking for a new sound, or he was recording with Sami, and he's like, "Oh, you got to stay here uh, in order, you know, to to make sure Sami places the, the riff right, and or um, you got to stay here because um, we don't know how long are we were going to record." And then they would record for five hours, and I would just sit there. But on the other hand, that's how it is in the studio, you know. Marcello was only planned. Uh, we only uh, we only hired Marcello to do a new a new artwork for T-shirts, and I liked the, the artwork so much that I said to my um, Nuclear Blast America uh, representative uh, Gerardo Martinez. Uh, he I, I asked him, okay, can we do something with this? And he was like. Yeah, maybe we can up, come up with a different cover for US. And I was like, mm, I didn't like the idea at first. And then I was like, yeah, let's do this, you know. Um, they came up with the idea. Um, because I like both our artworks. I like both artworks. It's, the one is more simple, and the other one is more detailed and more, um, more like the, the music. Um, very detailed, very um, uh, epic. and. The other one is more simple, but it has such a great effect because it's the demon uh, becomes the greater demon becomes a cathedral. I like that idea because it would get it was so too straight to the point that I both I like both artworks. Yes. They they I think there will be some limited edition for for the uh, American artwork also in Europe. You know. It is it is it is um, but only in a metaphoric. Because I'm not a big fan of religion and I'm not a big fan of uh, um, dogmatic uh, ways of uh, structuring um, a society. But um, yeah, there are some topics about religion. Satan is real, is one. Um, Satan is real is not that, you know, I, I use Satan as a metaphor. It's very, it's quite obvious and it's quite. Um, um, some people would even say it's cliche, but if you think about it, um, this, these, these icons like Satan, Jesus, God, Mohammed, whoever became so relevant nowadays in the year 2016 that I was like, ah, oh, fuck, man, these people are still around, like these icons are still around and they're all like uh, only, um, to me, not, nothing more but, but, but fantasy. They don't have any more relevance to me than, let's say, uh, Donald Duck or, or Conan the Barbarian, you know what I mean? Those humans came up with with these icons. They're not real. So Satan is real is uh, about the relevance of religion in the year 2016. That, in my opinion, in my opinion, in the year 2016, religion is way overrated and way would be taken way too serious. And we try to write a song about that. Are you pessimistic towards? No, your... no, very optimistic, very optimistic. I um, enjoy life and I enjoy uh, being around at this time because I think it's an exciting time. These are exciting times, and um, we should not. We, yeah, I'm always optimistic, man. Always, um, never pessimistic. Um, it's a circle, you know. To me, life and death are necessary. If you, if you, if you're alive, it's 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 very certain that you die. <laughs> um, so to me, it's it's the 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 climax of life. You know, something that I'm looking forward to. You know, really, I'm I'm not afraid. I mean, uh, to me, it's just it it belongs to life, just as breathing, just the same thing. You know, you breathe and one day you will, will stop breathing and then that's when you die. So it's like a, it all, it's all connected.
Yes, we will. Uh, but you know, to me, this ex especially this 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 thing we shall kill is not about we shall kill. It's about if you read the lyrics. Um, it's about we shall kill the old ideas and go into something new. That's what Gods of Violence is about, you know? We shall kill the old ways of like conservative thinking and then go into, uh, get, go into a, a brighter future with new ideas and, and more open um, uh, ways of looking at the world. And to me, playing at the Bataclan is definitely a very symbolic because what happened there was a, an absolute tragedy. And I, but I think the Bataclan has a tradition of being a place of s celebrating life. And we should, when we go there in February, we should celebrate life instead of like, and of course mourn the dead, of course. Uh, but also, um, um, you know, look, at, look into the future, you know, in, in a way where it's, um, where it's positive. Especially with Sepultura, we always wanted to tour with Sepultura, and um, s the other bands also, also, of course, they're great bands. So it's like a very nice variety of of of, uh, of bands, and uh, I think it's going to be a great light night for metal. You know, everybody that's into metal shouldn't miss this tour. It's it's, it's going to be good. <laughs>